video number four school closure exam cancellation due to the effect of coronavirus the summer exams for JCSE and A level in the summer of 2020 are all cancelled. Schools have been closed in the um, last week of March. We don't know when the schools are going to reopen. This is video number four uh, out of five videos in which I'm sharing with you ideas, uh, opinions and suggestions in how as a parent we can mitigate you can mitigate the effect of school cancellation closure and exam cancellation on your child uh, secondary school. In my last video, I uh, mentioned the fact that there's light at the end of the tunnel. In this uh, fourth video, I'm going to be telling you specific success stories from young people that I've been fortunate to have been associated with who have gone on and done well uh, in uh, in the GCSEs and A-level. Uh, the first story is that of a young girl called Esma, who came to us when she was uh, uh, in year 11. She studied maths and the science subject with us. Um, she was predicted uh, a grade D slash E in maths when she came, but she ended up with A-star in maths. Obviously, she's a bright young person that was not was underperforming due to how she was being taught and various other factors at the comprehensive she was school she was going to in science she was predicted uh, a c slash d i believe and she ended up with an a in double science at the time um another young man israel israel was uh, in year 12 uh, as level when he came to us and i uh, was working at i believe a c slash uh, b border uh, and he ended up with uh, two A's and a B and went to King's College to study medicine. Um, um, the third person is Justin. Justin came to us actually in his final year of A-level and um, uh, studied just math. Uh, I remember him writing to Mr. Duffy, the maths teacher, to say that, oh, thanks to you, I got um, the help you provided for me in C4 and C3, I think. I got... Um, an A in maths. As a result of that, he was moved to study medicine uh, to to go straight into the first to go straight into the first year of medicine. Before that, he was offered a place to do the foundation year, which is the year before the first year. So, spending an extra year to study medicine, so she was, he was moved straight into the first year of medicine. As a result of that, um, the fourth short story I have for you is for. A young man I would call him Colin it's not his real name uh, he was a very bright young person it's one of those when you ask a question in the class irrespective of if he had been listening or not or if you think he's been listening or not he knows the answer very very bright very bright spark but uh, sadly he ended up with uh, I think D's and E's and uh, in maths and, uh, 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 and physics because he just didn't do the work which you can get away with at GCSE, but at A level, it's very unlikely that you will get away with it. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, these are success stories that I want to share with you. The reality is that uh, what will happen in life will happen. There are certain things that we cannot control, such as the coronavirus. It's a question of how one reacts to it. It's your response to the event in life that you cannot control. It's very difficult to control other people, but you can actually do something and react in a way that is positive or that will yield you the result that you want any event that happens thank you for listening to this video for i'm watching it uh for video five which is the final video i'll be talking about specific action that you need to take as a parent in order to mitigate the effect of the coronavirus school closure and exam cancellation how to mitigate the effect on your son or daughter Thank you for listening and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video.